Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges. I am back with another Thrift With Me video. This is the second video from last Saturday. So I went to an estate sale where I got so much stuff that it was just too much to put into the same video or the same haul rather as the yard sales that I went to that day. So this is gonna be the footage from those two yard sales and make sure you pop on back for the haul at the end. It is a traditional haul, not a trunk haul. So if you're new to my channel, I am a part-time reseller and a full-time school counselor and I troll yard sales and estate sales and thrift stores trying to find stuff on the cheap that I can flip online for a profit. So if you like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button down below. All right, guys, let's hop into the footage and then come on back for the haul. Good, how are you? How much are the Christmas figures? You just 
make a crowd please. Would you would you do like a dollar each? Perfect. Okay, terrific. Yes, the last thing I need is more Christmas, but here I am. I think I'm going to do the Douglas fir tree, too, because he's super cute. I was just getting the name. So good for you. I was just going to, I had just started to go through and see what all's in there. This is another one of those. Oh, good. Four, five, six. I sure do. All right. So there's Damn. eight of those. And then. Here's a cute little sleeve. I don't know what he's for. Some of it, you know, made me throw it away like these melted candles. <laughs> <laughs> well, are these the wise men or these Santa? Huh? <laughs> are these Santa or They're wise men? They're just Santa's up there. It just looks like you <laughs> Santa's the wise men. You don't like my display? <laughs> Maybe a little sacrilegious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we could make this thing a display now. Oh, look how cute. Well, I started to throw those candles away, but they might go to that place that you were talking about. Well, we haven't looked in all this. So. Just... There you go. Oh, we'll they're so cute. Another. Are you bringing us to the back of those? We can't push any more Christmas stuff on there. Maybe if I take each one of these boxes and hold it up. Sure, I want that. <laughs> Lucky band. Just wear whatever they bring. Yeah. Dude, these are my size. seasoned veteran of I yard so sales.
So both of these yard sales were my favorite kind of yard sales where everything is just priced to move. There was nothing where they were not trying to give it away. Pretty much everything was a dollar or less for the most part. So for everything that I'm going to show you, I paid only $37. So not bad at all. All right, so first up is this pair of Vans. These were only a dollar, so even though they have some condition issues, I know that I can get them clean. They are high tops, they're in really good condition. They are a decent size, which I can't remember, seven and a half. So these will definitely go for at least 20 bucks. These I picked up just because they have got those Hey Dude vibes and they're in really good condition. These are a men's Skechers um, in black. And they hardly look like they've been worn, to be honest with you, if at all. And they are a size 13. So an awesome sale to pick up. Because I did not need any more flatware, somehow I managed to pick up a few more spoons and forks that are Oneida. So to get listing my flatware okay this was a bad pickup but i mean i probably paid 50 cents for it but it does not seem to move online at all it is a newbie stroller sunshade typically when i pick up things for strollers that are new and in the package they fly out of my inventory so um i'll probably just price this one at eight dollars most of them are listed around 12 to 15 dollars um just to get rid of it Definitely the best thing that I picked up today was this. I knew it as soon as I saw it. It is this gorgeous, gorgeous fossil full leather messenger bag slash briefcase. Gorgeous. It is in perfect condition. I'm estimating that this is going to go somewhere between $75 and $100. Beautiful. Inside and out. Like the inside is just immaculate. I don't know if you can tell with the lighting in here, but it is super, super clean. I would guess that they never even use this. Beautiful, beautiful pickup. Okay, this is just for me because I have nowhere else to store my shoes. And it was only a dollar, so this just hangs right in the closet. So I thought that was a super good find. I have already sold this once. This is the Douglas Fir Talking Tree. And so I was happy to pick him up on the cheap. Now, there is one issue. He does not have his Santa hat. Very sad. But he works. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Maybe I can fix that. Yeah, there's no way. But somebody might want him. And again, he was only a dollar. I do not know if this was a good pickup or not. I feel like it was. I got eight Anna Lee dolls for a dollar piece. Two of them. This little elf and and is this an elf? I don't know. It's Santa Claus. It's weird looking. But these two are new. And still attached to their bases so i haven't looked up any comps i'll flash them up there um but i mean Lee, and they're new and the others may not have their um tag still on but they're in awesome condition i think i have mrs claus too i do fabulous these will be lotted up together for sure and then i have two and a no three anapomorphic this and this, cute. And then skiing Santa. I think these are skis. I mean, they look like skis, right? I don't know. Goes like that, maybe? I don't know. He's a little, he's a little bent. We'll f try to fix him up. And then the last one is this mouse. So again, for a dollar each. I thought they were in really, really awesome condition and just so stinking cute. Okay, I have sold Livy and Luca before. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the heel, but they're a brand of kids' shoes, and these are adorable suede boots. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I really think I'm gonna keep them for Emma. 
Yeah, these are size seven. She'll fit into them next winter. She's a five right now. So these are probably going to go the way of Emma, but I will flash the comps up there. Uh, if they're really, really good, I don't know if Emma's going to see them, but that is my goal right now. Okay, then these are two Luxury King Shams, both new and in the package. They originally re um, they originally retailed for 17 bucks at Steinmart. I don't know. I love the things that are new and in the package. These are really light, light to ship, light to store, all the things. Okay, I got this shirt I picked up because it's a 2XL. I've never heard of the brand, but it is new with the tags. So that was an easy pickup for a dollar. Now I picked up this Polly Flinders vintage little dress because it was precious. And Karen has always said Polly Flinders can do well. Not that everything Polly Flinders does well, but we're going into Easter and look at how darling this dress is with all the Swiss dots on it and the florals. Just really, really cute. This is in a size five. I grabbed these because they're new. Oh, they're Levi's. I didn't even know they were Levi's. I just saw the tags and threw them in my bag, even better. And they're a size 16, woohoo! Plus size Levi's, new with tags. Shorts, but still. I grabbed this because it is Land's End. It's in a size medium, but it looks to be new without tags. I don't know, the puffy vest thing, might that ship might have sailed, um, but it's, like I said, in really, really good condition, so even if I just get $10 for it, and I, I feel like I'll get more. Um, this I threw in the bag because it was new with tags. I'm not even sure. I think it's just one of those little under things that you wear like under a tank top. But how cute is that with all the lace and everything? Really, really sweet going into spring. Again, new with tags, socks. This is Garnet Hill, and I do not find a lot of Garnet Hill. This is in a size, I don't know. I can't read that. It may be a small, um, but look at how cute that is. Actually, I really like that. Hmm, I don't need any more shirts, but this is Madewell, and it is in a size extra large. Just a really nice open cardigan. I feel like it had wool in it, or maybe I couldn't find a tag. Yeah. Nope, can't find the fabric content. So I don't know, but it's made well for a dollar. These I love. These might make it to my closet too. These are a size, these are my size. Lucky brand, little maroon, stretchies. Not stretchies, like um, colored denims, but really good condition. And I love Lucky. Okay, this is also new with tags. This is Old Navy. I've said it before. I pick up Old Navy new with tags and it always moves. I do not list it terribly high, but that's okay. I do not pay much for it. This is a cute little, just like a fun little baby doll tank top for the summer. And it originally retailed, well, it went on sale for 20, 20 dollars I can't see what it originally retailed for. More than $20.99. This I ended up dropping in the mud but I feel like most of it came off. But this is 100% linen, soft surroundings in a size medium. Soft surroundings, it's one of those things that I really love it because it's a really good brand, but unless it's either a plus size or new with tags or something special like embroidered or linen or something like that, I'm not gonna pick it up anymore because it just hangs around way too long. Now this is free people. And I just thought this was darling. This is size medium, We the Free. Again, I do not pick up free people unless it's a dollar or less. Um, it will hang around for a while, typically, unless it's a super large size. This is Land and Sea. I don't know a lot about this brand. This is a size eight shorts, but again, new with tags, but they were new with tags, sold at TJ Maxx for $14.99. I will for sure take the TJ Maxx tag off. I like Paige jeans, but they don't always move. This is Paige in a size 29. They're in really good condition. Hmm, I want to try these on too. Um, 
but page um, jeans do not move like they used to, for sure, for sure. Uh, it used to be that I could totally count on them flying out of my inventory. Not anymore. And then this, I really think this is a good pickup too. This is Duluth Trading Company, um, medium sized, like purple overalls. Um, but I love picking up overalls. I've never tried to sell purple overalls, but there's a first time for everything. I'm really surprised they were a medium though, to be honest with you, because they seem like bigger than a medium. But, nope, that's what they are. I guess these are carpenter overalls. Um, so anyway, I'll flash the comps up there because I haven't even looked at them for a second. Okay guys, that is everything from for this um, Thrift With Me video at Two Yard Sales. As always, if you like this content, hit the subscribe button down below and I will catch you next time. Bye guys.